we've just got word that Rahman Ali, the champ's older brother, has agreed to speak with us. So we're heading back to the old neighborhood to hear what he knows. Mr. Ali, how do you do, sir? Tell me about him growing up with the greatest fighter ever. What was it like, your brother? How was, how was he growing Every up? Every day was Christmas. Yeah. Every day was just, just happy and gay and just happy. He's my yeah. best friend in the whole world. What do you know about this story with the gold medal? Tell me about that. Well, I came home from, from, from the Olympics with the gold medal from back. And I went to a restaurant downtown, little bit, ate some food. I said, you want to serve black people. But he said that it's the N-word. He said, what you say? I'm going to live in Chavez. I'm going to tell what you are. I don't really serve you here. He said, this damn thing is nothing. Took off his neck, went to his room, I went just threw it in. So he told you a couple days after, or he told you the night it happened, he came home and told you? I was right there with him, standing right beside him. Did you say anything? Did you try to stop him? I tried to stop him. He said, he said no, Rock. He said, I, I'm hurt. He said, I've been, been so disrespected, it hurt him bad. I cried. Oh, sure. Remember when that happened? I know he came back uh, from the Olympics. Was it shortly after that or long? It was about two, three days that he returned back to the States. Some people question this story. They say, no, he lost it, or no, he gave it to somebody to medal. Not true, right? Why? Not true. Okay. Threw it in the White River. Threw it in the river, and you saw him. I was right there with him. 